Alright, so for today, we are going to talk about uh, solving trigonometric functions, basic tri trigonometric function, using our calculator technique. So this is still a, a part of the calculator technique series that we are studying and continuously uploading in our YouTube channel. So if you're new to my YouTube channel and w want to have or to know more about the calculator techniques, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel before we start. Okay, so let's get started. So for number one, problem number one, okay. So we have uh, evaluate sine of x plus sine of plus three x, uh, sine of x plus sine three x all over cosine of x plus cosine of three x. So the very first thing that we're going to do here is to um, let x equals five. So the first thing is make sure that your calculator is in degree mode. So let's type sine of x plus sine of three x all over cosine of x plus cosine of 3x. So what we are going to do here is we're going to use the calc mode by substituting a value of x. So if you do that, calc, the calculator will ask you what value should you substitute with the value of x. And if, if we are in the case of trigonometric functions, we can press 5, okay? Use 5. So as you can see here, we have an answer that we're going to store it to A for comparison with our choices. So to find the answer, let's go now to the choices and simply repeat the process with the same value of x, which is 5. Whichever is the same for the value that we have a while ago, uh, that will be the answer. So obviously, letter A is not correct So because when we divide that answer by the value that we have, already or we got on the first thing okay we stored it to our variable a if it's not one then it's not the answer meaning it's not the same so tangent of x next one so we have tangent of x so solve for the x equals five obviously if we divide it by uh the value stored in a it's not one so it's not the answer tangent of 2x so calculate it x equals five so answer divided by the a it's one so definitely it's the same okay it's the same answer so meaning the simplification of this problem is simply tangent of 2x okay so for number two simplify the expression for cosine y sine of y uh, quantity one minus two sine squared of y so still the process is the same so i'm going to use here y as our variable to be consistent so since we have an available y in our calculator let's utilize it so this the process is still the same okay only then be careful on inputting sine squared of y so i'm doing this as that one minus two quantity sine y of squared okay then close quantity then calc y equals five I'm going to have a value of something. I'm going to store it to A for comparison when we get to the multiple choice. So second of 2Y is basically 1 all over cosine of Y. So for letter A, 1 cosine of 2Y. Okay? So because there's no second button in our uh, calculator, we use the reciprocal identity for second, which is 1 all over cosine. So Y equals 5. Okay? And then compare it to the answer. It's not equal to 1, then it's not the answer. So it's not equal to 1. So we have cosine of 2y. Okay, calculate it by 5. Compare it with the answer. Again, that's not the answer. Tangent of 4y. Calculate by 5. So compare it with the answer that we have a while ago in uh, recall A. It's not equal to 1, although it's sim somewhat uh, approximately equal to 1 by rounding off, let's say, uh, very near to, the, to, to 1, but it's not still equal to 1. And we have our last chance for sine of 4y. Calculate it and then compare it to our A, which will result to 1. So the answer here, no doubt, will be D equals sine of 4y. So that's how we um, simplify the expression. Okay, it's very easy because still uh, we are just simplifying the expression without any knowledge in 
uh, except for the reciprocal identity without any knowledge in in just uh, uh, just doing this calculation about trigonometry. So problem number three: evaluate two tangent alpha all over one plus tangent squared of alpha. So the alpha we will just change it by x. Okay. So for convenience, because there's no uh, alpha variable here. Okay, I'll just, uh, uh, of course, you can change it anything, okay? Uh, X, Y, or any other variable here. But for this problem, we are going to stick with uh, X. So, 1 plus tangent of X squared. Okay, that's how you do it. So, calculate it with 5. We have a value. I'm going to store it to A for comparison to our... Uh, uh, choices. So we have 2 sine of x. Calculate that with the same value 5. Divide it by a. Okay, it's 1.0038. Although it may be what? Uh, almost equal to 1 but it's not totally equal to 1. So moving on to 2 cosine of x or alpha. Calculate with x equals 5. Divide it by the a still 11 that's not correct okay so second one we have two second so two second so that would be two all over cosine okay because the reciprocal of cos second is cosine so solve it using five compare it with the answer it's still 11 so how about two cosecant of alpha so that would be cosecant equals one all over sine so this will be sine Okay, x or alpha. x equals 5. Okay, so we have to have there, compare it, that's 132. Okay? Okay, so as you can see, all of the values b, c, and d have a long way values, okay, have a very far value to 1. The only thing that is approximate to 1 is the letter a, okay? So because of the value of we we got a while ago 1.0038 so we are going to uh it is safe to assume that letter a is the correct answer because after all what we are doing is that we are just approximating the value of this using the calculator techniques so it is the nearest to one okay so most likely the letter a is our answer for this problem okay so for, for problem number four if arctan 2x plus arctan 3x equals 45 degrees, what is the value of x? So it's very simple because you have the choices. So the first thing we're going to do here, we have arctan of 2x, then plus arctan of 3x, okay? So you can have shifts solved for this, but as for me, I'm just going to write the arctan of 2x plus arctan and 3x and then calc by the choices. Okay, what whichever choice will give 45 degrees, that's the answer. So I'm, I'm going to have 1 all over 6. Boom, it's 45 degrees. Okay, calc again and let's try another one. That's one third. Oh, it's not 45 degrees. Again, try again another value on the choices. One fifth. It's not 45 degrees, but rather 52. Calc again. Let's try one fourth. Okay. So it's not 45 degrees. The answer that will uh, give you a 45 degrees is the 1 all over 6. Okay. So again, 1 all over 6, that's 45. So the answer here is letter A. Okay. So for our last problem, evaluate arc cotangent of square root of 3 okay evaluate arc cotangent of the square root of 3 so we know that uh this uh arc cotangent of square root of 3 that would equal if we are going to continue this that would equal to some value of theta or some value of uh radians okay or the, the uh, radians uh in terms of radians so what we are going to do here, I'm going to shift first my mode into radians. Okay, so because the, the choices here are radians. So we want to make sure that if we evaluate our calculator, it will give a radian value of the uh, the angle. 
Okay. Evaluate arc cotangent of the square root of 3. So what we are going to do here is that we know, we very much know that the, uh, what do you call this? The arc cotangent of square root of 3, if we transpose that, okay, on the right side of the equation, that becomes cotangent of some certain theta. Okay? So imagine it. So imagine I'm transposing this on the other side equals theta. I'm transposing it. It becomes cotangent of theta on the right side. So we are left with square root of 3. Our equation becomes square root of 3 equals cotangent theta. But you know that cotangent of theta is 1 all over tangent of theta. Okay? So that's 1 all over tangent of theta. So what are we going to do to solve the theta? Okay? So we are going to cross multiply this one. Okay? So cross multiply square root of 3 all over 1 tangent of theta. Okay? So the tangent of theta becomes on the left side equals 1 all over square root of 3. So tangent of let's say theta now becomes 1 all over square root of 3. Okay? Because I've I've just uh uh they call this uh, cross multiply the two okay so in order for me to get x here i'm going to transpose tangent on the left side so this becomes arc tan of one all over square root of three and that's the arc cotangent okay so it simply means that i get the reciprocal of whatever is inside this arc cotangent not just arc tangent or 1 all over arc tangent. That's that's the, that's that's not the same. Okay? So this becomes arc tangent of 1 all over square root of 3. Okay? Again, what we did is the cotangent, okay? We transpose the cotangent uh, raised to negative 1 arc cotangent to the right side of the equation that has theta which in this case is x. So it becomes cotangent of x. So, and get the reciprocal of cotangent of x, that's 1 all over tangent of x. Cross multiply, you have tangent of x equals 1 all over square root of 3. And then get the value of x, arc tangent, which is 1 all over square root of 3. So, this will be our uh, uh, our answer here for evaluating arc tan of 1 all over square root of 3. That's pi all over 6. Okay. I think that's the end of our discussion. If you learned something from this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. And please don't forget to leave a comment down below on what topics you need to have a tutorial. So I'm trying my best to, to do that in the future video. So thank you so much, guys, and I hope you learned something today. And God bless.